In the aftermath of an event known as the Calamity, Bastion's world is in pretty poor shape. As the silent protagonist known as the Kid, you'll construct a safe haven in the middle of the void by fighting monsters and retrieving cores which allow you to piece together a small chunk of land to call your own. Only fair he decides what we build next. This reconstruction of the world is accomplished through 2D action RPG gameplay with a clear link to classic games of a prior era, but Bastion establishes a unique identity almost immediately. Your actions are narrated by the sonorous voice of the nameless stranger, a fellow survivor. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. And pathways form in front of you as you walk, making it feel as though the world and story are being created as you play. Ground forms up under his feet as it points the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Bastion isn't a game about leveling up. Truly prodigious amounts of monster slaying are required before each ding. Rather, it's a game about finding new things and putting them to good use. Fortunately, there's a lot to find. You'll acquire new weapons and skills regularly right up to the very end of the game, mixing and matching combinations and experimenting with a flexible upgrade system that lets you meaningfully tweak each weapon to your desired purpose. Eventually, it all comes down to reflexes. There's also a major skill element in play, consistently rewarding good timing with damaging counter blocks or powered up attacks. Each weapon or tool has its own hook, which helps keep the game's rhythm between light exploration and heavy combat interesting through its six to 10 hour run. A town building element enhances your sense of progression. There are no hard choices, but as you collect cores and rebuild your hub, each new element adds an extra dimension to the game. The weapon enhancing forge is an obvious first pick, but the distillery offers an array of passive buffs as new brews are found or purchased. A shrine gives you an interesting way to dynamically affect the game's difficulty. Invoking different gods makes enemies tougher, but also offers increased rewards. Though the game feels well-conceived as a whole, there are a few shortcomings and limitations underneath its thoughtful and hearty design. The narrator is a good gimmick, but his constant commentary soon grows intrusive and doesn't quite match the game's visual tone. You send some squirts crying home when she leaves port. The beauty of the detailed environments sometimes obscures problems or pitfalls, and a few late-game revelations aren't quite what they're cracked up to be. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Capable and shaped to its purpose, Bastion proves a well-crafted and entertaining experience. Easily justifying its $15 price tag, this downloadable game offers a simple but complete package that's charming, playable, and worthwhile. Ten. Nine.